Susanna Baum here and it's January 1st 2020 and I'm here in Mexico on a family vacation so first I would like to say Happy New Year to you and I wish you all the very best for the coming year. Second as we go into this time of year where we start setting our our New Year's resolutions our New Year's goals and what's going to be different this year I wanted to share a bit of a story that my son who is nine years old taught me about setting goals. Now as we move into this time you know, I, I think sometimes we, we set our goals and we set our resolutions and we're not always sure why. Why do we want to set a particular goal? We know that it should be a good goal. We know we should aspire to certain levels and, and new outcomes, but why are we doing that? So this is what happened with my son. So we're at this resort that has a big fun play area. In this play area is a maze. Now, my son is now nine, but when he was six, he walked into a maze and he got lost for a few minutes. And ever since then, he has said, I am never doing mazes again. Over the last few years, he said, I'm never stepping into a maze. So at this resort, at this play area is a maze. It's a maze with mirrors. So we said to him, hey, why don't you go give it a try? And he said, no way. I'm not doing mazes. I told you I would never do a maze. Now we also happen to be on vacation with his cousin, same age, also nine years old, who's bold and who has, does not have this experience with mazes. So she went in and out several times and despite all of the adults around him saying, hey Alex, why don't you go ahead and try the maze, to which he responded, stop nagging me. She eventually came up to him and said, hey Alex, you know, if you come with me, I will walk through it with you. I will hold your hand. You will not get lost. Now maybe his nine-year-old cousin has a little bit more street cred than the rest of the adults, but somehow he relented. He went through the maze with her and after about three or four times, he then brought me in, he brought his grandparents in, and then he insisted on going alone. So now, after so many years, his hatred of mazes is over and he loves it. So what was the lesson? My first lesson is that sometimes we will decide that something is not for us or that we don't want to do something or we're no good at something based on an earlier experience, based on an earlier negative experience. But time passes and experience builds and sometimes we're not quite as bad at that thing that we are trying to avoid as we think. So while my son initially hated mazes, once he gave it, and while he had spent so many years telling himself he was never gonna walk into one again, in fact, after three years and a whole lot of life experience in that three years, things had changed and he decided that he liked that maze. Second of all, the nagging. He felt that we were nagging him about going into the maze. Give up on your fear, give it a try. So I ask you, who is nagging you because they feel that you can do more than you think? Are, are you nagging yourself also? Are you getting that nagging feeling that sometimes it may be time to change or try something a little bit different because you can, because things have changed. So pay attention to that nagging feeling, whether it's the nagging feeling of, of friends and family or colleagues or mentors who believe in you or the nagging feeling that you have in the back of your head saying, you know that thing you said you would never try or you would never do again? Well, maybe now it's time to try it again. And the third lesson was that there's a huge value in having a trusted advisor. My son's trusted advisor was his cousin who knew her way around a maze, who was not afraid of a maze, and who led him through it and guided him through it. So who do you have that you could look to who could guide you through whatever it is you wanna do, who could guide you, who could mentor you, who you could join in as a mastermind, or who at least can just, just push you in the right direction? So these are lessons learned from my nine-year-old, learned from a maze in this resort in Mexico. Now, I wanted to wish you a very happy new year and, and just to wish you uh, a moment to think about what are you not doing in your life that perhaps you once had a bad experience about and now you can be ready to tackle. Number two, who is nagging you because they believe in you and they believe that you accomplish and achieve more, even if it's you nagging yourself? And third of all, who can be your trusted advisor to guide you through what it is that you need help with. My name is Susanna Baum. So for whatever it is that, that you are holding yourself back from, I urge you to use 2020 to give it a shot. Wishing you all the best for a wonderful year.